Today we are mainly going to be going, uh, well, we're going to be chatting for a bit, maybe about an hour to two hours of just kind of chatting and chilling. Uh, and then after that, we're going to have a sponsory doodad stream, but it's with, uh, it's with a game that I have, uh, I've, I've done stuff on before. Um, we are being sponsored by Paradox to play Mechabellum, and that is a good deal. I got fucking spooked. I heard dee 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 doo 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 dee 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 doo da 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 dee doo 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 dee doo da. I'm like, what the fuck was that? Uh, so you guys, I don't know if any of you guys have those like like the the Asian like water heater like things where you like press dispense on the top and like dispenses like boiling like hot water. Uh, and so when it's done, it makes that like dee doo 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 dee doo doo da 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 doo dee doo doo doo. Not a rice cooker. No no, it's it's like a hot water dispenser. Hold on, this thing. This thing. Is it a kettle? Would you call this a kettle? Whenever I think of a kettle, I think of like the, the, like a pori type thing. Electric kettle? All right, good enough. Semantics. It's okay, not it's specifically school. like, like an Asian Love demographic thing, learn. but every one of my friends that is of that ethnicity what has one of those in their house. So that, that's, that's my, that's where, where I get that from. It's not an urn. <laughs> what do you mean it's an urn? <laughs> what? It's called a hot pot, Bricky? That's not what a hot pot is that I know of. A hot pot's the fuck. Am I, am I being gaslit? <clears throat> oh dear. Sorry, the throat, the throat's getting a little. You know, I've been. Um, they they call me they call me throat goat uh, throat goat uh, throat goat brick. Holy fuck, throat goat brick. <laughs> what else? You and slit at the same time. They don't call you that. Hey, I wanted to come here from Badger's stream. Yo, okay. So, so we fucked around yesterday, right? And, and, and I, I went into Heavenly's chat and I was like, mods eat shit. And then they banned me and I'm fully banned from Heavenly's stream. I can't even watch it right now. And I was like, shit, man, I don't know what's going on. So I, I saw that he, that uh, Badger was streaming Helldivers. So I joined his stream and I'm also banned. <laughs> I haven't even said a word in, in fucking Badger's stream. And I'm also banned in there too. I just looked in there like, wait, what the fuck? What did I do? Did I get banned for shower pissing? Chat, put a one in the chat if you pee in the shower. Can I get a clip here so I can send this to fucking all of the people from yesterday and show them how, how wrong they were? They all berated me for being a shower pisser. They're so wrong. Waffle stompers? Waffle stompers? What? Meaning Urban Dictionary, to defecate in the shower and then stomp it down the drain with your foot. For example, she waffle stomped in a hurry to cover up the evidence. Mr. Electric, kill this man. Just don't tell us to the V Shoujo girls. Oh no, Haruka's gonna hear about this. Hey girl, what's up? Hi, I'm here for the bottom tag. <laughs> I forgot I added that. <laughs> what are my tags again? <laughs> we got bricked up, bottom, pay to win, grippers, him, and himbo. <laughs> Fucking hell. Should I add sniffa? What about Discord kitten? Now that's good. Yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna add I'm gonna add sniffa and I'm gonna add Discord kitten. Oh shit, it's already there. Today we do and are having a sponsored stream. Uh, this is for the fantastic mech-based auto battler known as Mechabellum. If you'd like, you can do exclamation point mech, M-E-C-H, in the chat, and that will allow you to bring it up and play and uh, and get a great steam link for the game it is only 15 dollar dues and personally i have lost a ton of uh, a ton of hours actually into the game i i already have 28 hours uh in mechabellum this is before i even did the sponsor stream you can actually go check it out on uh youtube i did a main channel video on it i think I called i think i called it uh mechabellum uh stole my wife and took the kids or something along those lines. This is actually done uh, and sponsored by Paradox. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal title. Uh, I, I I don't think I can explain much about it 
without playing it just to show you. Uh, but it is a mech based auto battler where you go ahead and make a whole bunch of different kinds of mechs on one side and then you know your opponent does the same. You go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, it is very fun. So for example, you have like little guys like this crawler here, you know? This is one of your mechs. It's a little subterranean uh, crawler guy. But you can also equip it with various types of technology, which allows it to be upgraded and then stronger and stronger throughout the game. Uh, there are also like various skins you can get and stuff like that. And you know, this is a swarm based one. So you see on the, oh, I'm covering it a little bit, but there are 24 uh, count for these units. When you place one down, it actually gives 24 of them. The Fang, for example, this big old boy, actually has same thing, it spawns 18. But if you wanted to go kind of big, you know, there's maybe like the Arc Light, which is an anti-horde laser boy, which is only spawning the one. The Sledgehammer Heavy Tank, which is five. Uh, and then you can get, you know, a little bit like bigger. It's like the Stormcaller, which is an artillery platform that has four. Or you can go really big, like the Vulcan. Vulcan lives. Stomp, stomp, which is, you know, the gigantic flamethrower bot. Or you can have Boat, which is the Overlord, which is one of my favorite ones because Boat is just hilarious and sometimes just wins you the game outright. And there are also some brand new units they just recently added, I noticed. So we have the Wraith which is heavy aircraft. Heavy aircraft equipped with floating, multiple floating cannons that can cause a lot of damage at medium to short range. Targets air and ground. So, okay, it has field maintenance. It has high explosive ammo. Degenerate beam. Chat, they named it after you. Wow. What else do we have? We have scorpion. So one unit, heavy unit with a huge cannon that can cause massive damage to cluster you. Oh, so it's like a big arc light. And then what's this, the war factory? This thing is enormous. Super giant mobile factory good at manufacturing units and using overwhelming firepower to strike enemies. Oh my god, yeah, it's it's literally a giant a giant unit manufacturer. Yo, you can give the drip factory. <laughs> What's I didn't, okay, I, I know they added, they added skins you can finally buy to it all, but <laughs> that's pretty cool. They added a survival mode as well as like practices and things like that, which is pretty neat. Um I kind of want to try out the survival mode. I need to get my hands kind of back into the game a little bit, test it back out about uh, a little bit more. So I'm going to mess around. So what do we have? Oh, they, oh, they're already played. Oh, hey, they updated the UI. Oh, wait, oh, this is, oh, they have the attack ranges and the no attack range. <gasps> oh, we got crawlers. And then we've also got steel balls. We've got 200 points. What can we unlock? We can take arc lights. How much does it cost for the war factory? 200. How much does it cost? 800? Put them in the back. And then and then we'll we'll let it we'll let it roll. This should be fine for the time being. I mean, storm callers are pretty good. I feel like yeah, they're, I feel like they're going to get all like bunched up fighting each other. And that's going to allow us to kind of like, you know, they're just going to stand still. Oh, I've made such an error. Oh, wait, no, maybe we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Hi, I was I was a little bit I was a little worried. Marksmen's need to kind of stay in the back though. If there's double marksmen and then uh, it's just the oh they're, they're, okay three three marksmen crawler. I didn't notice the boat. I didn't notice they put the they they bought a boat. <laughs> they they hit me with the boat flank. Oh no! Oh shit! They, I didn't, I didn't look at the flank. I didn't look at the flank. I do that all the goddamn time too. It's fine. We, we, we have this one. Fuck, I hope you have this one. Yeah, okay, the marksman should kill the boat easily. I think. The fang, the fangs and the marksman should, yeah, okay, we're, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're fine. Oh, they got they got brand new um they got brand new animations for all stuff too. Holy shit. Uh okay, I like Wasp Swarm. It's always one of my favorites. All right, here's the plan. We drop phoenixes on on sides that can help us with that possible error. Yes. Okay, nothing's on our flank this time. Oh right, that's the new flying thing. 
Oh, that's so cool. It has like little drone things that spin around with it and it fires from there. Okay, I'll, I kind of want to run the Wraith. That, that just looked really fun to run. Should we do the degenerate beam? We're adding the degenerate beam. Can we do anything else funny? Yeah, I replicate on the crawlers. Oh, wait, that looks awesome. Hold on. Okay, so that's the degenerate beam. No flanks. Wait, does this replace the gun? No, it doesn't. Oh, it's just, it's actually just a very short ranged uh, unit. Do, does it have a range up upgrade? It does. All right, I got it. That is a thick ass ball right there. <laughs> so why the, the balls are so big. Uh oh, I don't know if I have this one, chat. Oh wait, no, I'm good. I forgot I have my overlords in the back. Yeah, never mind. I, I doubted myself. Ricky, I saw your caramel apple video, so I decided to try one out. I went and got the score apple from Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory, and that shit put me in a coma. <laughs> Listen, dude. I, I make bad decisions sometimes. It's acceptable. That is a enormous fortress. Holy shit. I kind of want to just bring out more crawlers and then hit them with a subterranean blitz. You know what? How much does it cost to upgrade a boat? You know what? We're going to gonna turn them into motherships, the wasps. I think this is the last round too, so I'm going to buy some free money. That's so many missiles. It just keeps firing. Okay, it stopped. <laughs> it's just, it just keeps going. Oh dear. Oh, all right, there those go. Oh no. Oh, there's so many arc lights. Is it producing arc light? It's producing arc lights. It has an arc light production facility. Oh, we're in a bad, we're in bad state. Wait, do they both? They both produce arc lights. Making more crawlers was a mistake. Ow, ow, owie. Oh, oh. I win. <laughs> we got to the nine rounds anyway. Oh god. I'm a little scared to 1v1 players right now because there's some really scary ones. Uh, I, I kind of want to do a little practice against some bots real quick, you know? We'll do like a normal bot, base HP, you know, uh, a 4500. We'll, we'll kind of, we'll do some regular stuff for a moment and then, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Hey, they, they made the characters hotter. Uh, quick supply specialist is 200 supplies. Rhino is Rhino. Elite is a hundred, but only right. And then HP, we'll do quick supply. If I know myself properly, we put ball in front to soak up arc light, crawler in back. We do it. We are quick supply, so we can actually get, we can actually be even balling even more. They put fangs in the front. They knew, no, the, the AI knew. That's gonna, that's gonna keep my balls taken up. And then the storm caller is gonna eat their butts. Oh, wait, no. I think I did it. I think I, I think my strategy worked. Okay, the storm callers are still eating their butts. We gamed. Mass produced Wraith would be really fun because I like the Wraith, but the range going down by 10 on an already low, like, range unit is a little iffy. So I'm gonna go with intensive training. Let's make the balls better. Oh, right, I still have to pay for it though. Rhino it is. Do I have the Whirlwind? I do have the Whirlwind. Let's go. Bricky has to pay for better balls. I mean, do you- is that not- chat, do you guys not pay for better balls? I'm 56. I quit using them. Trith, are you actually 56 in my stream? Trith, I was just asking because, uh, you know, normally we have a pretty, like, 20 to 30 ratio around here, so... Glad to see- glad to see that I'm, uh, I'm pushing my audience out a little bit. That's great. Hey, chat, listen. Uh, um, all I'm saying, we- 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 uh, I make I make boomer jokes all the time, but we we appreciate our our, our fans regardless of age. Hey, I got some, I got some so oh geez. I'm an old school Warhammer 40k player, and your humor pleases me. So there you go. Shit, I'll take that. Hell yeah. I I assumed it would be a Warhammer kind of thing. I I, I doubt that I get a whole lot of people in their 40s and up uh, who were really interested in like my League of Legends content. You know, I know there's a there's a good a good generation of people who uh, are not stoked with me. Uh, having such popular Warhammer content because it can be a, a little zoomery for some people. So, you know, we joked about this with the Poor Hammer podcast, guys. You know, like every Warhammer podcast that was out there for a while was just two dudes in a basement talking about the newest lore to like 40 people. And, you know, respect on them, don't get me wrong. But now, like, the two largest Warhammer podcasts have come out is a Dentist Ridiculous and Poor Hammer podcast, and we're both total shitlords. So, you know, listen, we, we spent we spent the entire time playing Helldivers with uh, with the poor hammer folks uh, and we were teaching them what bussy meant. All right. I, I, I don't blame people if they think we're a bit zoomery. OK, I want to try hard now. 
I want to. I want to get my. I want to get my 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 muscles reflexed. You know, I want to get, get the mechabellum going. Yeah, the, the game. The game got a visual overhaul. It seems that not only the mechs themselves look better, but the animations, like the explosions, look better. Card art's been changed. So far, it's been working really well. Plus, I'm a big mechabellum fan, as you saw from the video I made way back when. Okay, I'm gonna put this saber tooth here, just to watch my flank. You're right. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy the War Factory unlock because it seems cool. I like Photon Emission. It's pretty mean, but I think I'm gonna uh, buy another boat. Boat gang, boat gang, boat gang, boat gang. There's so many rhinos. <laughs> the rhinos can't get attack air though. Oh, the boats just ate them alive. The boats absolutely ate them alive. I kind of want to make a War Factory. I haven't seen what it looks like yet. Oh shit! They took um, they took uh, Napalm on the Stormcallers, or Incendiary Bomb technically. All right. Let's see what this war factory is like. Oh my god! All right, <laughs> that was bigger than I thought it would be. So does it produce anything yet? Or does it start producing when I give it upgrades? Because I don't see it making anything yet. Okay, I like how it has like multiple turrets that just kind of fire around. You know what this reminds me of? The elephant from Halo 3. I love the storm callers sending their entire salvo into it. And it's still like alive it's but it's about to die it lived for a, quite a while uh oh my oh there goes my thing one steel ball ever wait oh it's got a missile interceptor we'll just we'll just intercept some missiles oh they spawned a bunch of stuff to my right oh dear nice oh my oh it has self-destruct that's why they all blew up it's fine they put that i'm gonna put another war factory to the right because this thing is just so gigantic and, uh, and a little hilarious that I think I'll be fine. Also, I see that he does not have any real anti-air right now, so my wasp spawning is just gonna... Just gonna do it. And the storm callers can't do a thing. Hell yes. Oh, it actually doesn't really matter. I think we just win. Yeah, yeah, we win. It's almost time for PvP. I, th I think I think we uh, I think we do an insane bot round and, and try to win the insane bot round. And then see. Okay, so we've got balls and sledges. Can they one-shot my balls? They can. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Left side is left side is is completely cooked. Right side might be cooked. Right side's cooked. All right, we're, we, all right, we're cooked. We got we got absolutely cooked. Okay, so those wasps are probably cooked. But perhaps I could cook even harder though. What if I gave them both? shields and then put them in the sides like this okay no real counters to my stuff they made they gave the rhino another rhinos the sledgehammers increased range oh crap okay they brought storm callers in my back line of all things to watch here we got the storm caller flank chat in warhammer terms that's like strategically reserving a basilisk to pop out and black it's just, it's just like what okay the idea of running amplifying core with okay this is gonna be so fucking funny oh no can i not give war factory stuff no oh i'm so sad i thought the war factory can get things oh I did not realize that. that that's a, that's an error on my part. You know what? Screw it. Wasps, you get the amplifying core. Is it a bad idea? Yes. But is it is it going to be funny? Yes. These wasps are about to eat. I got to be honest, the the marksman only being able to kill wasps with two shots is, is really is really crushed. The War Factory, no! Alright, we're now spawning a steel ball every six point something seconds. We immediately lost our base. Look at them go. Look at the little steel balls. Look at them, look at them go. And he's just like, bloop. There he goes. Just adding one by one by one. This unit's kind of awesome. I don't know if it's good. I feel like a melting point would just, just crush it. But it's so funny. Just seeing it, like, spit out little balls. Hell yeah. All right. All right. We went through all the bot difficulties. We can actually do, uh, we can, we can, we can do some, some multiplayer stuff. Let's, let's hit it. Fangs and balls versus, ooh, okay. This might actually, this might be okay for us. We might be okay with this. Should we just, like, yes, cheese them? Exactly what I, think, I, I think we're just going to cheese them. Oh, right, we can't do it first first round. 
Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna put a wasp thing to the left here and then and then see if we can Yeah, they went marksman heavy. I think we'll be okay. Okay, so unfortunately the balls are too fast and they went they went right past everything which is is put us in a bad spot can we survive with fangs no i don't think we can nope that's a loss that's fine i'm gonna go with the fang shield i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna put you know you, you know what we're gonna put the the arc light flank he also bought arc lights shit wow he did actually buff them with 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 aa for my one wasp that is a little that is a little silly i'm not gonna lie i mean it's gonna work I'm gonna get blasted, but <laughs> get him, get him, Arc Light, get, get him, <laughs> get him. Let's go, gamers. The dream. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna join you on the speed up. Scorpions counter this. Can we? We can't make scorpions though. Are... Oh wait, no, we can't make scorpions. Able to immediately recruit level three Fang. Kind of a funny idea. I actually don't mind that. I kind of don't hate that actually. Are we gonna are we gonna go hard into the fang gang? I'm gonna go hard into the fang gang. You know, Stormcaller has kind of ripped through this, actually, I think. Oh, I can't make any more units. Now I can. I think Stormcaller's might rip into this. He's pretty he's he's actually like really slow. You bitch. The the concept's still kind of there. I actually think I might still have something here because the shields on the fangs might actually like, you know make it make it worthwhile yeah i got both backgrounds <laughs> boob shields <laughs> chat you're fucking five years old <laughs> boob a booba shield <laughs> sorry i'm like 15. i think we upgrade ourselves a little oh i have an idea more fangs for the flank hopefully he doesn't oh you might flank me you bought more arc lights uh, storm caller is kind of hit he put a rhino on this side that's a little sus he put a rhino specifically on the side i put the fangs on it's a little sus scorpion why why scorpion do you say it kills everything it has is i i haven't seen much use out of the scorpion before i thought it was like you know what all right all right you know what you know what i'm gonna take your advice shit i thought i got more money from that all right maybe i maybe i took your advice too much Maybe I went a little bit harder. Oh, oh, it's not like a, I thought this thing was like a murder, murder crawlers and stuff. Wait, that thing breaks. That thing crushes. Scorpions are surprisingly tanky though. You are right. Should we do the siege mode cannon? That could be kind of fun. I'm gonna try that out. And then along with like an acid pool spawner. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The, the, the acids, the acid bomb siege cannon is kind of awesome. Uh, I kind of like it. I, I'm a little worried though, because this rhino is about to arrive and eat my ass. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Okay, the siege cannon is nice. It appears to be able to get in range of the marksman first, and before, and they can't the one shot it. They, can, they have to two shot to it. Uh, you know, Black Cadaver, a wise man did once say, "Death to the false emperor." And I'm feeling the death of the false emperor right now. I'm feeling it in my jimmies. I agree. I might be embracing the scorpion a little bit too much right now, but it's really fun. Because this unit is just really cool. I don't know what I would embrace more instead, though. Like, I kind of want to get like a Vulcan just to just rip through those crawlers. But um, he has so many marksmen. It's, it's a terrible idea. What if crawler spawning balls? Wait, do we win? Oh, we won! Yo, we won! Let's go, chat! Hell yeah! Holy shit! I didn't think that we'd pull that off! Okay, Storm, Caller, and uh, Crawler. So, clearly... Clearly, they are going to need to... Um, they're going to need to make anti-air. Because of the Phoenixes. One more Crawler and Replicate? That's actually not a bad idea. That's actually, that's actually really funny. Yeah, I, I don't mind that. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I like that idea a lot. Just to screw with him. So what did he get? Oh, so he got he got two level two marksmans. Wild choice. Unless those storm callers really wreck me, I've I've won this one handily. Thanks to Replicate. You know what? I you know I, I give him I give him credit. I did not expect the marksman run. Th th that is a bold strategy. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do replicate crawler. And then we can drop double balls. I'm also gonna make these crawlers better also. And you know what? Even though 
Oh, oh, wait. Here, wait, here's a here's an idea, chat. How fast do do these guys move? 16? They both move 16. Here's the idea, okay? You take the balls, you put them in front. The arc lights are forced to hit the fucking balls. And then, because they're forced to hit the balls, then when they die by the then the marksmen will also hit the balls. But when they die, they'll spread into crawlers, which the marksmen will be have to have to hit. I'm gonna upgrade my my health and stuff just for the, t the sake of it. This might work. This might not work. I'm a little scared because right now Cruzanob is telling me otherwise, and so far they were the they're the smartest person in the chat when it comes to this game. But we're gonna find out. It didn't work. In fact, it went really badly. It actually went really badly. I have a new idea. Ball flank. Fuck it, we ball. Okay. Right side did not work out. Left side, though. Left side's cooking. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, we're not cooking. We're not cooking like I wanted a cock. To cock? No, we... Buying more balls is not a good idea, right? Right? I mean... <laughs> They've been serving me quite well lately. He's buying stangs and stuff to deal with the, the wasps. I got the armor enhancement for the balls. The balls are kind of doing it, you know? They're like, they're kind of hidden. No flanks, no flanks. Maybe we need to make the crawlers better. Maybe we need, like, mechanical rage crawlers. Because the, because the, the balls are already doing, like, they're already spawning so many. Oh my god. Wait, we might- No, wait. Are we gonna win this round? No. Oh my God! Look at look at what's happening. No way. Oh, let's go. The we, the balls. He never would have thought that we would double down on the ball strats. Chat, check out Mechabellum. It's on Steam. It's only fifteen dollars. This person is combat power 68,000, I'm combat power 3,000. I'm sure this will be a perfectly fine match. I love quick supply. I love the extra money. It's so much fun. Balls and fangs. Balls and fangs. Oh, shit. Marksmans, huh? Do we do it again? Do we, do we immediately pop mechanical division instantaneously? He would be crazy to do that. So I was trying to keep in mind the speed difference for my units. I, I I know I was thinking that I I actually and that's why I put him behind, but I still fucked it. Wait, I think I might actually have this one. Mm, oh, maybe not the right side, but left side's cooking a little. No, it's not cooking enough. The fangs don't do enough damage. Do we go even harder into the balls? So okay, so here's the thing: we need crawlers because without crawlers, we can't use replicate, and replicate is half the reason why you do the ball strat to begin with. You run replicate crawlers, because the things they destroy will turn into more crawlers, and then the balls, when destroyed, turn into crawlers, which will then, when destroying things, turn into more crawlers. You, 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 get, you get the point, you get the point. The idea is to spam that, and it's working! Right side, right side! Okay, not right side. You know, it might be time for scorpions. I almost feel like fangs with uh, shield would actually really cook right here. I'm gonna roll that. What did they buy? He bought the Vulcan. Fuck. I've made a grave error. Yeah, because because the, the shield, the crawler ID and the shields does not matter against the Fang or against the Vulcan. The Vulcan does not care. He could give a shit. The, my hackers, though, my hackers are kind of eating. Don't shoot the hacker, please. No. <gasps> no way. No way. The marksman snag. No way! Can we do it? Can we take it? Can we take it? No. No. We can't do it. We can't do it. God, that would be funny if we could, though. Whirlwind Rhino on the flank and overload one side with wasps. Fascinating concept, my friend. I will take your... I, you, you know what? That's so insane to me. Fuck it. Oh, shit. I don't have overloading. That concept is just so wacky to me. I, I love the idea. I don't think it's gonna work well at all. I think I think we're we're doomed here, but that's just so funny that I'm going for it. Both of my rhinos immediately died. They immediately fucking died to the crawlers. Friend, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Your idea was was a hilarious. It did not work. Yeah, it was deploy time. Deploy time did it in. Ah, uh, GGS, GGS, <laughs> GGS. That was a funny one. I think I've seen assault mode. HP increased by 500%, movement speed is increased by 3, attack is increased by 30, but it has a area damage of 9 meters per range is reduced. 
Wait, this sounds so fun. Rhino specialist. Start with level three marksman. Marksman specialist, duh. Okay, round two gives me 400 points. How much does it cost me for that? Uh. Oh no, it didn't, it didn't activate. It doesn't have that. Oh, God damn it. I didn't, I didn't get it in in time. Before the game start, I didn't click on it properly. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, this is real bad. This is an incredibly bad start. All right, that was a pretty terrible start. I'm not gonna lie. I think we might be arc light gaming. Speak of the fucking devil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the cheeky wasp run. He bought a wraith. Fascinating. He did the cheeky, he did the cheeky wasp run on the right. He did the, he all, he did it too. We both did it. That son of a bitch. I'm, I'm hoping that my marksman will survive to take down the wraith, but I don't, I don't know. I think I win. I think I win. Yeah, yeah, I win this one. Nice. Okay, how do we want to do this? Am I crazy for balls again in this situation? I kind of love it. I got balls on the mind, dude. I got balls on the brain. That was armor enhancement. I actually did not want to do armor enhancement. That was a huge mistake. I wanted to do crawler spawn. Well, he built Vulcans. Okay, that's actually kind of hilarious because I, I accidentally bought them armor instead of crawlers, but the armor actually makes them really good against Vulcans. That like that one ball did an absolutely insane amount of damage to that Vulcan. In fact, I think I may have won that because I was thinking with balls. Have I got overload for the storm callers? I don't think I do. I barely ever run storm callers. Uh, and so I don't know if I have the overlord thing for them or overload. So like, what if I gave the balls energy absorption and then just kind of like rolled them, you know? They have the increased armor, they, they get health back. The Vulcans can't like do my, uh, fuck scorpions. Okay, well, well, oh, GG. <laughs> What's the damage? 10,000, how much do these have health? Not 10,000, 60 block damage per, no, they're gonna die, they're gonna die. He made the right call, he put the scorpions down, shit. Oh God, yeah, the balls got one shot immediately. Oh god, no. My balls. This may be the end of Bricky. Oh no, I think I might live. Ooh, barely. Here's the real plan. It's rhino time, baby. We are sending rhinos down mid with wreckage recycling and photon coating. Oh, look at him. Look at them. Look at them face take it all. Yes. Yes, it's working. Oh shit. He also took two rhinos in the back line. No, he got mine first. Wait, I might still have this. I don't have this. I don't think I have any anti-air. I don't have any anti-air chat. We're going to win the ground battle, but we're not going to win the air battle. No. No. Oh, am I still alive though? No, <laughs> it was so close. Okay, time for one more game. We got the we gotta do the assault mode marksman. I'm very excited. I have not tried this out yet. This is a brand new thing. Okay, uh, that's a marksman specialist. Since we did start with a level three marksman, I think we can. That's right. How fast do they become? Eleven ms. Oh, they actually kind of they kind of hoof it. Wait, it makes an AOE too, right? Yeah, it has an area damage of nine meters. Oh shit, okay. I feel like I would still want range enhancement. Though, does not elite marksman increase with range? It does. <clears throat> what the fuck is a typhoon? I don't know what this is, chat. It just looks really cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run it. So okay, what are so these are like Okay, I was about to say they look they look like just just burnt guns, yeah. Yeah, they're they're like they're like mobile walker mustangs, basically. That's pretty cool. I like that. So I could buy dude. Marksman XP rate increase, elite marksman buy, bro. Do we actually just snag intelligent marksman for this game? This this is this is like the this is insane. We can upgrade these boys. Okay, I I I want to. Okay, I'm just gonna buy more. I'm just I'm just I'm just going more 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 uh, more marksmans. This is hilarious. This is genuinely hilarious. I think rapid reload. I'm pretty sure rapid reload is probably the better option here because we need them to just bop, 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 bop. Okay, we're a little, we're, we're a little. No, we're good. We're good. We're chilling. We're big chilling. Yeah, we're big chilling. Um, two scorpions, dude. Let's put them to the side. 
Uh, real quick. Oh, yeah. Let's, okay, let's rapid reload. Let's level up all of my marksmans. Level five marksman gamers. And then let's just buy two more marksmans. We'll put them in the front. Yo, they, he put two rhinos right next. He put two rhinos right next to them like that. He's, he really had to do me like that. He had a level five. He did a field maintenance rhino. I gotta be honest, the disrespect is palpable. He got armor enhancement, that asshole. <laughs> Dude, he's unkillable. They gave him absorption module. He's unkillable. He can't die. Yeah, I need EMP. I need EMP bad. Yeah, I need a melting point. I, th I think we, we, we need melting point. You know what? Laser sight melting point. It's the only option I've got right now. Do we do increased range or we do absorption? We do increased range. Look at that melting point range, though. I mean, this one's also pretty good, but look at that melting point range. Okay. We got it. We got All right. We got, we got it. We got it. Though I don't know if we... Uh, we got it, but I don't know if we got it. You know, like we got it, but I don't know if we got it. Okay. We got it. We buy Vulcan with best partner. We drop the Vulcan right here with the friends. And then we upgrade our snipers. We hit them with the photon emission coating. And then just, just for good measure, we upgrade this melting point. Holy shit, that fucking rhino just died. Okay, we got it. We're burning. We're burning right through all the chaff. He's doing it. He's doing exactly what we were hoping for. He's doing it, chat. Chat, is this real? This sniper here, this level seven sniper is a fucking menace. Oh, I think we got it. I think this is real, chat. Oh, it might not be real, chat. But the insane range. We got it. But wait, are we gonna win? No, we're not. We're only doing 400 damage. Okay, amplifying core kind of hits though. But on who? We already gave him a thing. The melting point, maybe? Do we go for energy diffraction? Is that is that is that dumb? Is that stupid? It feels stupid. But we have the increased range. We could go with energy absorption with energy diffraction. Range did win me that last round. You are right. It did. It did win me that last round. You make a good point. We already max leveled that. Anything else? Can we can we give him an upgrade of some sort? Yes, we can. Incendiary bomb? Incendiary bomb. Oh, that incendiary bomb. Oh, that incendiary bomb, though. Oh, look as it cooks. Uh-oh. We're uh-oh. We're okay. We're not targeting how he oh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. He melt oh no. The bomb was really good, but it wasn't enough. No! God damn it. Ah, uh, it was, it, you know what? That was a great, that was a great fucking game. All right, chat. That's it for me today. No, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Chat, I'm calling it. Um, Remember. Oh yeah, plant cam. Make sure to check out Mechabellum on stream. It is only $15. It is genuinely a phenomenal game. I really, really enjoy it. Uh, the, the gameplay is fun. The strategy is really fun. The options you can do are very, very enjoyable. Uh, it is a good time. Did I say did I, on Steam, you mean? Did I say stream? On Steam, yes. Uh, there's a link right there in the chat. It'll take you to a Steam link for the game. Uh, it, is, it is a fantastic time. I'll have a video up for it sometime later on, uh, later in the week, which will be great. Uh, other than that, a huge another time. Thank you, Paradox, for the sponsory doodah uh, for the stream. And uh, yeah, 